My intent this afternoon is to share with you some of what I spend all day teaching on the principles of efficient hot water delivery systems. It's called practical plumbing. So the thing is this, about 18, 19 years ago, I got a phone call. And I'm gonna ask you the same question that got asked of me. And I've been researching the answer to that question for about 18 years, all right? It got me started down this path of looking at efficient hot water delivery. Some questions for you. Do you know anyone who waits a long time to get hot water somewhere in their house, at their favorite restaurant, where they work? Anybody? Raise hands. Come on, raise hands. All right. Does anybody here wait at least 10 seconds to get hot water? Raise hands. At the furthest hot water fixture, okay? Um, how about 20 seconds or more? How about 30 seconds or more? How about a minute or more? How about two minutes or more? Anybody? All right, let's pick on you. Tell us a little bit about your house. How many square feet is your house? 2,500, that's US median, by the way. Is it one story or two? Two story. Slab on grade or basement, crawl space, whatever. Walk out basement. And somehow or other, the water heater's probably in your basement, and it's as far from the master bedroom as it could possibly be. Have I ever met you before this day? If I ever met your house, not to your knowledge, how did I know? I think it's a law. There must be some law in architecture school that says you gotta put the water heater as far from the master bath as possible, right? Well, why? There must be, because we all do it. Oh, even worse, right? Okay, and how long did it take? Okay, anybody feel like it takes forever? Right? You're standing there naked running around what to do. You're doing this. I mean, it's crazy. All right, let's move on. Do you know, know if your community uh, has building or appliance standards? Anybody? Raise your hands. The United States has appliance standards. Okay. How about energy incentive programs, green building programs, any of that stuff? Water sense. You know, if you don't have it now, it's coming. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you know someone who's ever run out of hot water? Anybody? It's called teenagers. Uh, for me, it was Thursday morning. On Thursday mornings, my son's school, for whatever reason, decided that it's time to get up an hour later to have school start an hour later. I don't know why, but that's what they did. Now, he's now showering in my shower window. Anybody have a shower window? Right, this period of time when you're getting up and getting dressed, go to work, all that stuff? Well, you know, you plan kids to do it at night or first thing in the morning or later than you so you don't run out of hot water. Anybody got this thing? Okay. That's normal in the way we've built and designed our homes. On Thursday mornings, he got up later, and I would run out of water in my shower, which is annoying. Anybody here? Don't want to do that. Has anybody had a conversation with a teenager that did not go well? <laughs> e e either been the one that it didn't go well with or had the conversation with one of yours, right? I just figured it wasn't worth the conversation. What I did is I decided that since I was already awake, I'd get up a little earlier and shower a little earlier. It's a window, it's not a specific time, it's five minutes, who cares? You know he never complained about running out of hot water? And we've still never had that discussion. He might be old enough now to have a coherent conversation about it. He's a good kid. Any health inspectors that are uh, enforcing the compliance with hot water in public restrooms? Right, you plumber, right? Has anybody ever gotten a call as a plumber that says, show up now from a restaurant? The deal is this. If you do not have hot enough water according to the local code, health code, you cannot run your restaurant. And it means until you fix it. Right? That's a real big problem, right? And so the compliance with that is getting tougher and tougher. We'll see that happening over time. Do you know someone who's thinking about charging their kids for each shower they take? I think meters are a good thing, right? And, you know. You'd probably only have to give out allowance once. You'd give it back every day and it would stay the same. Uh, anyone who's tired of adjusting their lifestyle to the performance of their hot water system? Anybody? We all do. Anybody got uh, evening ki kids who shower and bathe in the evening? Anybody? They take forever to do this. You don't want them to do it first thing in the morning. You'll never get out of the house. Right? But we also do it because our water heater isn't currently large enough in capacity or instantaneousness, continuousness, to keep up with the demand that we would have. Okay, how about any communities that have a you can't build unless you guarantee a long-term supply of water ordinance? And we got one of those? How about Arizona, a hundred-year supply? You figure out how to guarantee a hundred-year supply of water in the Southwest. 
By the way, no one ever thought that there'd be drought in Atlanta, did they? Right. How about anyone who wants instantaneous hot water? Okay, what does instantaneous mean to you? How many seconds is that? Uh, all over the map. I'm going to count down, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, count up, right? And you're going to tell me when to stop by, by making noise. You ready? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Ooh, tough crowd. <laughs> so you've just told me you want hot water within one second. Does anybody have that where they live now? How about at their offices? How about at the hotel? One second is really tough. So let's try this again and be slightly more realistic. Okay? I'm going to count again and you tell me again. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Got to hear your voices, right? Let's, by three, right? You want to be... So remember three seconds. One second, by the way, is technically possible to do. I believe it's reasonably expensive. Okay? But three seconds is technically doable and practically possible to build it. We know how to do it within reason today. By the way, with no changes to code. And you all know that I'm working on code changes. Make it easier. All right. There's someone who thinks, you know who th who's someone who thinks that a tankless water heater is instantaneous? Anybody? They're not. As currently sold in the United States, I'm only aware of one tankless water heater that's a legal tankless gas water heater that is instantaneous. It turns out that storage water heaters are instantaneous. When you turn on the tap, what leaves a storage water heater? Hot water. When you turn on the tap, what leaves a tankless water heater? Cold water. Which one's instantaneous? Right. Do you know anyone who would like to learn how to get hot water to every fixture in any building, wasting no more than one cup while you wait? And I mean one eight-ounce cup. Two-thirds of the cup that you're drinking there right now. Okay? We know how to do it. We're going to show you how today.